Hello, this is going to be your reading for July 16th through July 31st. Thank you so much for all the likes and subscribes and comments on the videos. I love how active you guys are on the videos. It makes me really happy. Also, thank you for all the personal readings, the energy sessions, and the instant go contacts. You guys have been keeping me so, so busy and I'm loving it. If you would like a personal reading, the link is below. It's going to take you directly to my website where you can choose the right reading for you and book it directly there. So I do have several options available depending on what your needs are. So just choose whichever one feels best for you. Also, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy therapy and healing. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all over the US, Canada, even as far as Europe. So the distance between us does not matter make a difference. So the link is below. It's going to take you to my website where you can get more information, read the testimonials that are on there. Uh, I have a great 15% discount for first time energy clients that you can definitely take advantage of. And right now is such a powerful time to be having any sort of energy therapy done. We are in the middle of eclipse season. Um, Everybody is being like shaken from the inside out and it's a powerful time to be letting go of anything in your life that is no longer serving you, that you no longer need so you can be on the highest and best path uh, for yourself. So again, the link is below to the website for the distance energy healing that I do. Um, and take advantage of the 15% discount, definitely. You can email me if you have questions about it or if it doesn't make something about it doesn't make sense to you, okay? You can also find me on Instant Go, which is a really fast, easy way to send over a message and get a quick answer back. So the link is below for Instant Go. So that is it for Shop Talk. Let's get into the reading. The reading for Aquarius. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, July 16th through the 31st. So curious to see what's going to come up for my Aquariuses. I know in the last reading you were kind of resisting love a little bit. So I'm you know, looking forward to seeing if that's moving forward or if there's still some resistance. I feel like, you know, with the eclipses and everything going on, that love is kind of going to be a little bit on hold <laughs> for these next few weeks because people are going to be so forced uh, within to deal with their, um, you know, situations and things in their individual lives. All right, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, wow. So the first thing that we have up is Four of Wands. So this makes me wonder, you know, in the last reading, you were kind of resisting love a little bit. So maybe you have finally surrendered or see, you know, saw where your blocks are and where you were kind of holding back a little bit. And you realize that, um, if you're single, you realize that you really do want this. You're ready for a partnership with somebody and you're ready to give up your independence a little bit. And if you are dating, then I feel like you realize this person that you're with is actually somebody who is a good match for you. The Four of Wands, I love this love card because it's a very like limitless, uh, balanced, harmonious relationship. And, you know, if you look, these people, there's, they're not like, um, it's very open. There's a lot of yellow and brightness going on here. It's very balanced with the wands on each side. So there's going to be a lot of um, passion and attraction. And I think this person with you, so it could be a fire sign because we've got wands here or, you know, someone with a lot of fire in their chart. And I feel like you're really ready to be surrounded by, you know, a community, your family community, your work community, just a community that loves and accepts you exactly as you are. And I love the Six of Wands. It's like a card of celebration and moving in the right direction. 
So whoever this is for you that you either were dealing with, um, I do believe you're moving in the right direction with this person. And I think whatever resistance you were feeling with them has been lifted. So um, if you're single and you don't have anybody that you've been dealing with, then I feel like someone is definitely going to be coming in for you. I do feel it's going to be a fire sign. Um, so Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, or someone with a lot of fire in their chart. We've got two wands cards here, but you just look at the energy on these cards and it's like celebration all around. So very, very exciting. So when that does show up for you, I want you to just stay grounded and not get overwhelmed because I do have the seven of cups here which can represent a little bit of like confusion or overwhelm and like not really knowing what to choose or which direction to go. It also can um, almost be like not knowing what's real, like what's reality and what's fantasy or illusion. So you may be feeling this may feel so good on so many levels that it may <laughs> It may make you feel like, whoa, like, is this too good to be real? Is this puppy love? Is this just a whirlwind romance? Um, so I want you to just stay grounded through that. I'm going to see what else comes out here. Because I do feel, and, you know, having so much fire energy, it can sometimes feel like a whirlwind. So I think it would be really important, especially with you as an air sign, to try and take things a little bit slower so it's not overwhelming for either of you. But let me see what else. Aquarius need to know. Oops. Okay. Beautiful. So amidst your confusion here and wondering, is this real? Is this feels too good to be true? I do feel that you're going to get clarity around that and you're going to move away from those fears and those doubts. And uh, again, I think this might be a little bit more of that resistance that I was feeling in the last reading for you might pop up. So, but the six of swords is getting clarity in the mind and it's moving you know you see these rough waters here you're actually moving to m like smoother waters you're leaving that behind so i do see you letting go of the confusion um, and getting clarity around this person so i just feel like i need to say don't make any rash decisions um right now especially with the energies of you know this um uh, solar eclipse that we just had on the 12th, 13th, and we're building to the lunar eclipse, um, which is in Aquarius on July 27th. So you guys have a really big second half of the month. So just try to stay grounded as much as you can. Um, we also have Mercury going retrograde. So communication may be a little bit hectic, but the Mercury doesn't go retrograde till um, like the 25th, 26th. Okay, but I do think you're moving away from any uneasiness that you are feeling. And I love this. The next two cards, we've got the Queen of Cups and the Emperor. So I feel like you're moving towards this person, this energy. So I think the person that you either meet in the beginning, um, if you know if they're not a fire sign, they may be a water sign, but the, the Queen of Cups is just really intuitive, very in touch with their emotions, quite grounded as um, an individual. So that would be a really beautiful match if they have that passionate, fiery energy as well as like stable emotions. So I do feel that you're moving towards this person. And the emperor here, I'm actually feeling that this is your energy for this reading. So I feel like you're going to um, just get really clear on what you want and be solid in that. Um, I feel like you're going to be in your power once you, you know, let go of this kind of little bit confused, not sure energy. It's like you're going to let go of that. with, And then with the Six of Wands, you're moving away from it and you're moving towards 
your queen. Again, this can be, you know, male or female energy. And I feel like here you guys are, the power couple of the century, <laughs> queen of cups and the emperor. So um, this is really positive. I just feel, again, I need to remind you, don't make any rash decisions. You know, if you're feeling uneasy with the energies that are going on around these moons and everything, just don't take it out on your partner. This is a message like for everyone, but um, just let the time pass and look within for challenges of where that's helping you to grow. But I really feel Aquarius, this is your energy. And the emperor is long term. He knows what he wants. They are like, you know, very, very clear, which I felt you were going to be very, very clear here as well. So it's like you're really clear and then you had a little bit of doubt um, creep up, but you worked through it. So good job. Good job on that. Let me see what else we got for you, Aquarius. Beautiful. Okay. So I feel once you've, you know, chosen your partner and you know this is what you want, I see the two of you. I love the two of wands. This is like a card of creating anything that you want. And I especially love it when it shows up, you know, when I'm talking or asking about a relationship, because I feel like the two of you are going to be able to create, like, look, he's got the world in his hand. Like, you can create this relationship and your life together to be whatever it is that you want. It's also a card of travel, expansion, passion. So I do feel you two are going to be wanting to work as a team um, because it's going to be so exciting to come together with somebody who wants to share a future with you. And you're, I picture like giddy little kids like so excited to talk about the future and all the, the possibilities that are there. Um, I've also got the King of Cups here. So I love this Aquarius. I feel like here you're the emperor. You are like, you're not being super emotional with this decision. You're like logic, clear, want this, serious, solid, um, not confused at all. And as you're getting really excited and planning your, your life with this person, you I feel like your emotions are going to get more involved. You're going to be... Um, very connected on a deeper level, which as an air sign, that can be a little bit uh, more challenging sometimes, or it doesn't come so easily. Um, my moon is an Aquarius, so I can absolutely relate to that. But it's beautiful because as you allow this relationship to mature, look at you two are going to be super duper in love, very emotionally connected. Um, I'm kind of feeling like a soulmate soulmate bond or connection here actually and then I've got the judgment card so the judgment card can be a card of like forgiveness um, but it's also a card of like rebirth and transformation and you're almost like letting leaving behind any old ways which that makes total sense with the eclipse that come is coming up so I feel like this is you Aquarius and these are the people, thoughts, beliefs, things in your life that you are just going to let go of. You're going to acknowledge them, accept them for what it, you know, whatever it's been, and you're going to just let it go with the eclipse. You're going to let it be released out from your life. And, you know, after the judgment comes like complete transformation, almost like a rebirth. So that is so, so beautiful. I love this reading for you. You start out Again, really solid, really clear. So you either have somebody brand new coming in for you or you're getting clarity on somebody that you've been dealing with. And you are going to be tested a little bit here with fantasy illusion. It's going to really ask you to, you know, maybe get out of your thoughts and more into your emotions. Uh, but you're going to leave any of this confusion behind and you're really moving towards a solid partnership. So again, I'm seeing, you know, either fire sign or water sign or someone with a lot of fire and water in their chart. And I just see the two of you like creating a life together. 
It's like the very beginning stages. You know, the twos are about making decisions and, and choices. So very beautiful. Let me see if there's any last message for you. There he is. I love it. The last message is truth and integrity. So you're going to get totally clear. I really, that's like the message I was feeling all the way through. These last, the second half of July for you is like complete clarity. And that makes sense being that, you know, the, the full moon eclipse is in Aquarius at the end of the month. Like any confusion, any doubt, anything you no longer need, it, you're going to let it go. And you're going to have all the truth that you need in any situation. And you're gonna be solid in owning your integrity and taking responsibility for yourself and your life. So I just wanna say, go Aquarius. You guys are really, this is like a power month for you. So I hope that resonated. If it didn't, you can always watch your uh, moon or rising videos as well, your moon or rising sign. I, I love the comments that you leave below. I'm not able to respond to all of them, but I do read all of them. So thank you for that. And if you want a personal reading to go deeper into your specific situation, I would love to do that for you. So the link is below. It's going to take you to my website. And just another reminder, it's such a good time for energy therapy right now. It's really going to ground you, center you, and bring you into a very balanced place so we can go through eclipse season in our power and feeling strong, okay? That's it for now, Aquarius. I will see you for, oh my goodness, the August readings. Okay, take care. Bye.